passing like so fast that we are going to come to an year end of 2021. But for me, uh, this October reminds me of uh, last year when uh, someone spoke to me about Taraha's water. He bumped into me, brought in the instrument, showed me the device and said this is something nice and then, you know, talked about the qualities of water. And then I said, okay, <clears throat> but the one thing what this gentleman did was, uh, I didn't ask him, I want the product. But what he did was very gracefully, he gave me the Taraz unit and he said, doctor, you use it, that's all. He never asked for the money and he never told anything else, just gave me the product. Now that was the real uh, situation which made me to do a lot of research and now it's almost one year I'm into it. There's a lot of beautiful things. Now coming back to the contribution, what we need to do, what I am doing down here is basically we are uh, sharing this information. So what I wish to let you know is uh, when I'm speaking about the heart care and support, it's a general uh, information I'm sharing uh, so that you all should understand that uh, it's basically uh, a universal information what I'm sharing as uh, uh, when you're looking at people, of course, maybe thinking that, you know, cardiologist, you know, super specialists are out there. But when you look at the human body as such, uh, holistically, when we look at, it's a very simple uh, instrument. This whole body is a very beautiful, simple instrument. You need to know what you need to do. So in that way, uh, even though the subject is going to be a tough time for me to, you know, make things happen. But as I was preparing, uh, you know, there's a lot of things flowed in me. And then I, I picked up today's very, very beautiful information. And from there, I think it will be another two weeks I will be speaking about the heart care and support. Because just this one day is not going to be sufficient because today's topic itself is a very deep subject and I am honored to share this with you. And uh, let me go to the next slide. Alright, I am not going to go back into this. Alright, heart is one of the most important organ in our body. That's everybody knows that. The day your heart stops, that's the day you breathe the last. But there is something beautiful in our uh, medical fraternity. Uh, what we can do is if the heart has stopped pumping, you know, we do have mechanisms to restart the heart. And that's how we rejuvenate the uh, patient back. And then once the heart starts beating back, of course, the life goes on. But just imagine if your brain is dead, five minutes more if oxygen is not given and there is no blood supply then you, you become a vegetable this is what happens in many times of course we would we revive you from dying but you will become like a vegetable now that's the importance of this heart that you need to know you have to take care of it right from your anger age group not that when you are 50 years old and then you wake up when the doctors tell you you have a block and that is when you start you know, looking into uh, restricting your life, so reducing your smoking, reducing your fatty foods, you know, jogging, uh, going for exercise. All this happens once the doctor tells you what to do. But why do you want to go into that state? You can as well look into how do you take care of yourself by doing few things which you can, uh, it's within your reach. You can work on it and then start becoming more healthier. Now, when I'm saying that, uh, just a little bit of information we go down to your uh, the beginning of your heart now we all should know that by five to six weeks of pregnancy you know when the baby is being just formed and it is just five to six weeks uh, there is a small heartbeat you can see especially uh, such of those who have gone along with your wives to see the you know scanning where the doctors would have done the scanning you now they will show you the heartbeat because that means the child is alive but if there is no heartbeat that means the baby is not alive so of course they will recommend you to clear it up now when the start uh, the starting of that at five to six weeks of pregnancy now when does it stop it stops only when you die that means the final day it just stops that's the end of your journey on this human platform now when you're looking at the journey the heart is one beautiful organ 
without telling you anything without telling you that it is having a problem with itself it will go on doing its job even when there is a, a you know reduced blood supply and then it goes into a state where the tissues die even then the remaining part of your heart is still beating and trying to you know push the blood so when that is a sacrifice your heart is doing for you what do you need to do you need to do few things what are the few things now before we go to the few things just just this is for uh, the information i am sharing here your heart beats you know per day how many times 100000 100800 times it beats per day now how many liters of blood is it pumping 7200 liters of blood it is pumping out per day now just imagine you are going to live for 60 years how many liters is it pumping 1 billion 57 million 680000 liters of blood your heart is pumping and it is working have you ever thought of it your heart never asks for any commission from you does not ask for any extra benefit from you does not ask rest from you it doesn't talk to you at all it does its job now when we have such a beautiful organ in our body which the divine created for us to work from 6 weeks until we die what is that the least you and i can do is take care of it you have to take care of it now how are you going to take care of it you have to stop doing things which can put pressure on your heart you have to do that now when you just go down and see in one year how many times does it beat and if you are living 60 years on this planet earth how many times your heart is beating 2 billion 207 million and 520000 times in your 60 years of life this is only an average i am giving huh? now imagine this is this is too much actually even if you buy a motor or right, electric motor it would last for 5 years or 6 years or 10 years maximum 15 years that that it will but here can you believe how this beautiful organ is continuously working and this i am talking for all the 7.5 billion population on this planet earth irrespective of the race irrespective of your religion it does its job whether you pray you don't pray whether you do this you work you earn money whether it's covid it does its work now such is the responsibility of this beautiful organ called the heart now what do you need to do when it is working so marathon what is that you need to do you need to have proper nutrition you need to have a regular exercise you need to have regular rest what i mean by rest is basically your body needs to have a proper rest that means you need to sleep when you are supposed to sleep uh, probably between mo- uh, midnight 12 o'clock to early morning 6 o'clock you better rest or maybe from 10 o'clock night to early morning 5 o'clock you need to rest because that's the only time it beats little slowly and then it rests it's actually not resting but that's the time it is doing its job of exchange of uh, unwanted materials detoxification all these will start happening when you are resting now there is something very important i am uh, looking at here is you need to have appropriate blood viscosity you would have seen that when your blood flow especially which uh, i think uh, ed would have showed many of you would have seen this in the live blood test where the blood flow is very slow and sluggish right now the moment you drink tarahat's water what happens the viscosity is diluted that means it's high viscosity it is something like uh, you are talking about synthetic engine oil and a normal engine oil synthetic engine oil is much more smoother because the viscosity is much higher in the same way if you are lo- taking water the tarahat's water is minus 680 viscosity that means it's very slimy and slippery so when you are drinking this water what can happen definitely it will add an advantage to make your blood much more viscous so why i am talking this uh, specifically the viscosity is most of the human beings because of our eating habits your blood becomes thicker and as you are getting older your blood will be very thick so that means your blood flow to the organs will be restricted now 
if that is the case normally what will happen when you go to a doctor and then probably you have a little bit of blood pressure or maybe you just go to a doctor with a little bit of chest pain and doctor finds that there is nothing you know there is no block there so what the doctor will do is he will put you on a something called aspirin a tablet which will actually make your blood thin now why do we do that is basically we are trying to help your body by making it much more thinner so that your blood flow will be more easier now if you are not going to drink sufficient amount of water definitely there the viscosity will be more thicker right now when your blood is thick definitely the flow is hampered when the flow is hampered definitely the oxygen is hampered if the oxygen is hampered not only the the oxygen can get hampered the nutrition supply can get hampered if the nutrition gets supplied uh, to the cellular level is hampered what will happen once again the uh, removal of the waste products from the cell also will be a problem now other than that this is something very very important wherein you need to understand that the vessel wall flexibility is very very important number one for your maintenance of your blood pressure number two for your vessel wall to be strong and flexible the blood flow to be easy to go to the peripheries that means to go to the end organs it needs to be flexible just imagine if your your uh, vessel walls are all thick and then stiff what will happen it can be because of your cholesterol it can be because of your atherosclerosis when the plaques are formed inside the vessel it becomes stiff when it is stiff automatically your blood pressure increases now once you get uh, your blood pressure increases what happens we have to put you on some blood pressure medication so that we make it a little lower why we feel is when your pressure is high your heart has to pump a little more blood with difficulty it is like stress on your heart when there is a stress on your heart automatically the chances are there you can have some heart issues like maybe you can get a heart attack or maybe there are issues which can compromise your blood flow to your heart all this can happen so that is where flexibility of the vessel wall is very very important now finally there is something very beautiful which i am very very particular on this particular subject is a proper microcirculation this is the subject today i am going to talk the remaining five i'm going to talk in the next two weeks but today's uh, topic will be uh, you need to have my proper microcirculation so when we are looking at proper microcirculation what exactly is micro is basically you need to use a microscope to see the micro the circulation that is what is the simple principle behind this microcirculation now can you believe that this particular microcirculation uh, we are talking about there is a microscope for this now do you know which country was the first country to you know bring down this it's china they are the first one to bring this instrument i i still remember it was in 2006 uh, there was a particular company which was dealing with a product which uh, you know uh, they had procured and they were proving that your micro circulation will be improved when they take when you take that particular product now for the first time in a medical fraternity i am going there and i am seeing they are talking about micro circulation and they are all non doctors they are talking about micro circulation i said this is something very beautiful uh, very nice let me see and when i am seeing they just put my uh, finger under the microscope and they were showing me live micro circulation of my uh, vessels there now that was quite impressive then then what happened there was one professor from china she came down here to malaysia and she trained few people and i was one of the doctors who got trained on this micro circulation now this is something very very beautiful i was really enthralled by understanding that if every doctor can have this machine and you know and start doing a micro circulation check for the patient what will happen is everybody will uh, understand that there is some problem in the initial stages at least before you get a heart attack or before you get some vascular issues you should be able to see the problem in the microscope well in advance now this is this is what is all important about the micro circulation which you need a microscope and there is a particular instrument for you to see so what exactly is this micro is just for a definition for purposes and for you to understand it is the end organ circulation that means the end there is an organ we are talking about the cells and there is the exchange of gases nutrients uh, clearance of waste all this will take place at this micro circulation area now isn't it important for us isn't it important we are talking about cellular hydration so if your cellular hydration is a necessity 
then automatically your microcirculation also need to be good enough so that you are uh, whatever we are talking about hydration at the cellular level will also take place yes or no yes so in that way microcirculation plays such an important uh, situation and what you see in this it's a complete uh, circulatory system from the heart you see there are two blood vessels going up and two blood uh, the blood vessels coming down and then what happens the pure blood goes down on one side and the impure blood goes down back to the heart to get purified now this is one circle or one cycle you can call now if you are looking at the uh, uh, heart is is the first heart that is very very important for us now there is something called the second heart now what is the second heart is nothing but your microcirculation now this is something which i learned uh, not in my medical fraternity but through this uh, professor from china who trained me in the microcirculation and can you believe there is one university in china where they have done a lot of research on this particular subject microcirculation and the microscope when i when you put the word microscope uh, nail bed microscopy uh, it will take you to china it's an automatic phenomena and only from there you will be able to import this machine and then for you to uh, visualize your nail bed circulation it's from china it's not from any other country uh. so china has been uh, there in this particular field of microcirculation very very long time and they have been doing a fantastic job because they do have uh, products which they were speaking about microcirculation now in reality if you look at uh, in our uh, medical fraternity we do not go into such a detail of getting into the microcirculation but we do look at the bigger vessels like if you go for an angiogram of course we do see the bigger vessel and whatever within our eyes what we see the vessels there we will tell you these are all blocked but micro is something you need to see under the microscope and can you believe you know what is a, ma a magnification you need to have in the microscope it is 400 times it is 400 times bigger picture so that means that is the that is when you will be able to see the circulation whether it is going correctly or not i'm going to show you the live demo here on the, the on the video i'll be showing you now one of the major uh, blood vessels what you all need to just for information we do have the iota then the carotis the pulmonary the hepatic the renal then we have the brachial radial all these are all medical terminologies don't bother these are all major blood vessels of our body now when you look at the microcirculation we have the arteries artery will become into a smaller vessel which is called arteriole and from there it becomes a capillary now capillary once again there is an input and an output now output once again it gets into a venule and then it becomes a vein now can you imagine this is the smallest part of a vessel wherein there are a lot of things happening which many of us don't understand now as a doctor i got myself trained knowing what exactly is happening at your circulation in the nail bed this is where we are able to pick up and let you know that uh, even if whether you are having blood pressure whether you are having a diabetes there's a lot of things we can pick from this uh, microcirculation now can you see here the first heart is on the top there the second heart is your microcirculation so now you need to really take care of your second heart because the first heart is a huge one we have all the cardiology super specialists you know they can come and help you when you have uh, issues with your uh, uh, leaflets inside with the bigger vessels and all those things they can do but when it comes up to microcirculation we don't really look into it but definitely we all need to look into it i think the future uh, every hospital will have this machine and then we we would be probably looking into this to help the patient to pick the diagnosis and uh, make them more healthier now how many capillaries are there you, you will be wondering how big is your circular your capillaries you know your uh, uh, micro circulation how big is it number one 10 billion capillaries are there small ones 10 billion now how big is it 500 to 700 square meters like equal to a football field and it goes up and down up and down there huh? so how how much is it big it's almost equal to 9 million kilometers and it is said that it is almost one and of the earth time is your microcirculation inside your body don't you think it's such an amazing thing we have it in our body which is 9 million kilometers this is we are talking about the microcirculation and we all human beings have this now 
are we all looking into it? No, we are not looking into it because nobody is talking about it and nobody even thinks uh, like gives an information on this particular subject because as of now we are all macro oriented we are still not getting into the micro oriented especially when you are talking about the circulation now how does it look can you see the picture here this is the nail bud circulation which you will be seeing under the microscope this is how it looks now can you see on the left uh, top hand uh, what you are seeing is a beautiful now how many uh, blood vessels are there now just by seeing your blood vessels we have to see minimum of eight to nine vessels in one screen we are supposed to see that number one number two how good is your cellular that means one one cell going in and coming out one cell going in and coming out i will show you the this one in my next video you will be able to see how beautiful it is now by seeing the pattern of the this particular blood vessel itself we can say whether you are having blood pressure whether you are having uric acid whether your blood flow is slow whether your microcirculation is there or not whether you are a diabetic whether do you have any renal issues all these information can be picked up from the microcirculation it's a quite a in-depth study what the chinese have done and it's a very detailed uh, information we can actually pick up from the microcirculation now this is something very live i want to show you here uh, okay now what you're seeing is is a live blood uh, uh, flow uh, it's a microcirculation and what you're seeing is on the top there can you see something moving out from the 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 second uh, blood flow you see something moving out now these are all the plaques inside your uh, blood vessels and when they take this particular capsule it cleanses your uh, blood vessels now this is what they do say that when they take that particular product the blood vessels get clean now this is an amazing video which uh, uh, it's be, this uh, was recorded in china and they have done the research and they have done a, a wonderful research on this particular microcirculation and i was amazed to see that the blood flow the microcirculation is so beautifully seen and you can see that now the blood flow is so beautifully clean after clearing the uh, particular uh, plaques inside the now how does it look how does the microscope uh, look is something like that what you see here you can see on the left side wherein we put your uh, uh, ring finger inside and then from there we, we have a camera there it will be focused and what you see on the right side is a, on the screen is what your micro circulation so it will take at least minimum of 15 to 20 minutes for you to for the doctor to uh, understand and pick up whatever the information from this so there is a possibility from head to toe we can actually pick up a lot of information right from the brain to the foot what is happening and but most of the time what we do is we just go to the main heart area pick up the information uh, exactly into the heart area what is happening so if the circulation is good then we go ahead with the uh, uh, guidelines as to whether the vessel wall is good you know the blood flow the thickening of your vessels all these details we look into it and then we guide you as to what you need to do now so microcirculation plays such an important role in our whole blood circulation most of the time uh, if i take 100 people invariably for 98 people the blood microcirculation is hampered that means there is there is not much of uh, but when there is a microcirculation problem you don't have a macro circulatory problem but when you look at the time duration between three years to five years to ten years time from the microcirculation problem to the major vessel it will take anywhere between three to five years to ten years very slow process but definitely but once a major vessel gets a problem definitely there will be a problem in the microcirculation well in advance so what i would do is in our epigenetics we pick up all this information well in advance and then guide you as to improve the circulation now you would have heard uh, situations uh, uh, very commonly uh, like people for diabetics you know their foot uh, blood circulation is compromised and then finally you will see the fingers becoming black and the doctors will say now the this particular uh, toe is already dead so you need to amputate now after that what will happen they will have to amputate the foot of it then after that a little bit above ankle then below knee this is what will happen when your micro circulation is hampered over a period of time your macro circulation will also be hampered so in that way why is it important to check your micro circulation is you can pick up 
at least what i would say is uh, it's like you know no doubt your highways are very good but in reality if the small roads you no know, small paved roads are uh, much more clearer what will happen you will be able to travel along like uh, just like what people do is when the major uh, highways like our federal highway or kasas is blocked you know what they will do they will took the parallel uh, smaller roads into the kampong and then start going to the destination something like that when your micro circulation is good your macro circulation will be automatically good so in that way you need to uh, you need to really really take care of your micro circulation of course there are few steps where it be i would be guiding you as what kind of nutrients you know when you do this automatically your heart also is taken care now how can you prevent the future vascular issues especially the block once you see blocks here in the micro circulation definitely you will be able to get a macro circulatory blocks now when you are going to get a macro circulatory that is when you get a chest pain or that is when you get see sometimes you would have had a, a little bit of numbness in your hands or numbness in your foot we won't be able to exactly tell you what exactly is your problem because many time it will be circulatory problem your blood flow is not okay but the moment you improve your blood flow automatically things starts becoming better so just like micro circulation which is a very very important aspect for our cellular function the same way when you are talking about the resonated water it also plays a very very important role in your cellular hydration organ hydration your tissue hydration all this happen so there is a correlation between whatever i am talking and the resonated terahertz water now when you are looking at uh, the cellular function normally we would be dealing with the organs but it's always better we go to the cellular function but if you are smart enough we do can go up to the atom level so that means if you are talking about the atom every human being every animal every plant they all start working from the atoms so that means every cell which has got a proton electron or neutron it starts from that now congregation of all this is what you and i are down here in a bigger picture we are we are like a macrosome now but when you compare this universe we are a microscope we are like a small dust in this universe so when you are looking at cellular health you need to uh, look at from different different angles that means you need to look certain things from holistic approach you need to uh, uh, like just like if you are looking at uh, a mercedes benz car now you pay 1 million and buy the car now do you think that you are going to just say okay my the steering is beautiful or the wheels are beautiful or the seat is beautiful you buy the car because as a whole the whole car looks beautiful the same way our body also is something like that you need to look at holistically if you are suffering from diabetes do not look only at diabetes and healing your diabetes don't do that you need to look beyond that diabetes is a part of the metabolic problem which you are facing now but don't you think you need to look after your nutrition you need to look after your exercise schedule you need to look after how positive are you in your life all this plays a very very important role so cellular health plays a very very important role in everybody's lifestyle but all the while we have been only speaking about organs your blood test and you know you feel you would have seen many times people having their blood test and then doctors telling hey everything is normal nothing to worry but after 3 months or 4 months you see the per person would have died of a major heart attack why even now in the covid time you would have seen a lot of people who looked healthy who seemed healthy but they couldn't pass through the covid once it sets inside they couldn't come out of it and they passed away now this is the reality because inside at the cellular level there might be damages which would have been happening all the while and only thing is we didn't actually look into it now saying that what you need to do the first thing because on this platform we are talking about the terahertz uh, resonated water what is an ideal drinking water you need to look into it must be a portable water with a ph of around 7.5 to 8 and uh, tds that means the total dissolved solvents should be between 50 to 200 and the maximum they give is 500 but the ideal water with tds should be between 50 to 200 now how do we do all this you can buy this on a lazada or on the shopi buy all these instrument it is available but it is not a very high end product so you still can but uh, you still can uh, uh, you know uh, just go with it because it's at least an easy object for you to check your tds your orp 
now the ORP is better is always minus you know minus 200 is ideal but if you are looking at minus 400 it is really very good for people who have been having a lot of oxidation problem that means who are working in the open sunlight for a very long time who have a very stressful lifestyle who has been eating food almost all the time outside in a restaurant now they need a little more uh, higher oxygen reduction potential so minus should be better but if you are looking at uh, for a normal person anything minus 200 is good but if it is anything plus that means it is more acidic acidic is no good for us so it should be alkaline but you cannot be consuming everything alkaline as well because many times if you consume too much of alkaline water also is a problem but if you are consuming a lot of fruits and vegetables which is naturally alkaline is good for you do not compare yourself with a, uh, a water ionized water which you pick it up from a machine wherein they ionize it and make it alkaline and then you are drinking it for a very long time definitely it will have its own uh, effects on the body or it may not be effective also but at the end of the day like those days what we were doing we were drinking just uh, water directly picking up from the river or from the well or from the oasis pick it up or from a waterfall and drink it only because now the industries have increased our pollution is so high we need to filter water and then we need to drink but here what happens is there are a lot of people out there probably the, what they are doing is especially in Malaysia uh, the tap water comes inside your kitchen what you do they do is they just collect the water boil the water and drink the water they think that uh, drinking uh, boiled water is much better I say no the reason is if you do not have a filtration system definitely your water is not at all a healthy uh, to drink now we all earn money for what for us right we need to earn money for ourselves first when you're earning money for you and your family the first investment what you need to do you need to put a good water filtration system one is inside one is outside you need to do that because only when you drink a water which is free from bacteria your viruses the parasites that is when at least you can become healthier now added to that clean water if you can resonate the water wherein we have the terahertz device right now definitely it's much much better because it's much more easier it's like telling uh, latest cars where they use all uh, synthetic oil the engine is so smooth when you sit inside the car you don't even feel you might be cruising at around 200 kilometers you don't even feel now that's the advantage so like that when you are talking about terahertz water definitely terahertz resonated water is much more smoother so when you drink definitely there is a benefit you will get in a long run but always there is a exception rule of thumb there is no rule of thumb that everybody like 100 people we give terrace water and all the 100 will get the same benefit no it all depends on individuals and we need to understand that each body the way it responds will be different so you have to know you know you should know what is your body talking to you very very important of course uh, some friend would have advised you and you are drinking the water and finally you don't find any benefits out of it that means there is something you need to look into it and of course you can always uh, call us up and then find out what exactly is wrong why why is that you are not able to see the benefit many times your nutrition may not be sufficient enough that's why you are not able to feel the difference many times your vessels might be blocked so maybe the water is not able to penetrate inside and clear up the block so that time you need definitely the supportive vitamins nutrients proteins carbohydrates fat you know all these are there so when you're looking at all this situation your ideal drinking water also should not contain heavy metals and toxic especially you know which is quite common outside and chemicals and pesticides which is which is a norm in today's life because uh, especially in the industry of food industry they don't want the beetles the worms all to be there inside your food grains so what they do they will 100 percent use pesticide now when you are looking at pesticide when you are drinking pesticide little by little for example you start drinking water uh, from baby you may see the difference when you are 50 years you may start looking at the diseases when you are 50 years but what we need to understand is in today's life it is difficult for us to uh, you know make everything happen very clearly because we do, we are facing a very tight situation 
not only uh, it's challenging to live on this planet earth no, number one is your earning number two is your food habits number three your water there are so many factors we need to look at but what i would request every one of you is at least in simple ways what is ideal make it possible for you to make your life a little more healthier be a little more alert in what you are doing and uh, your body will be speaking to you all the time listen to your body this is the most important uh, message i would like to give is listen to your body your body always speaks to you only thing is you are not ready to uh, listen to what the body is speaking but for that what you need to do you should not be thinking of yesterday and you should not be thinking of tomorrow be in the present moment right now we are all here on this platform of uh, zoom where we i am discussing about the heart care and you know i am discussing the medical areas so what you need to do take down a paper write down the information what i am sharing pick it up if you have any doubts you you can always get back to me and then i would be able i would love to assist you in whatever little ways i can because this human life is the only life where we human beings can exchange all the goodness with each other saying that now i don't need to repeat all this because you all know very well but for such of those who are all new here uh, terahertz is in between the microwave and the infrared wave and it is a low frequency wave and it is supposed to be much safer and uh, much uh, easier to use in fact uh, when you are looking at terahertz resonated water uh, there are a lot of good benefits uh, we have been seeing i think eddie frankie jackie and all those beautiful souls you all would be able to uh, you know Uh, get more uh, testimonies where people are talking about their healing uh, some even yesterday there was one video where he, he was talking about his diabetes much better control now these are all wonderful thing it's it's a happiest moment that in my journey that i am able to see people you know without taking medication they are able to heal themselves this is something beautiful and just if water can do this miracle there are so many other things we all need to look into is we have to bless the water and say thank you to the water and the device which the, our uh, terahertz company has uh, uh, made the effort to bring this product to you and me in an easy manner in a portable manner and use a power bank to use it this is something amazing we need to appreciate and then move forward now this uh, this i loved this because it is much more easier to carry it and uh, easy to resonate just 3 minutes automatically it uh, it's off and then uh, the water is ready for you to drink and i prefer using uh, the jug because i feel when i resonate the water in the jug the efficacy is much better and i do it two times so the benefit i get is fantastic and in my family me my wife and my son we three are here and we are able to see a much better health and uh, for me i'm quite healthy as of today i would definitely give the credit to the water which i am drinking right now is a terahertz water now there are some good qualities good properties of this particular water which you should understand that this is all done in the laboratory the company has done the uh, research what they have done they have found that it is antibacterial that means it can kill the organisms when you are continuously drinking this water now you should understand that when you are drinking this water when you are talking about antibacterial huh? when you are drinking the water does it mean that it is going to clear up all your bacteria no only the bad bacteria will be cleared the good bacteria will be there because the good bacteria need good water so what happen the good bacteria can drink the water and they can be more healthy but the bad bacteria cannot survive now what do you know uh, there is another very important uh, point you need to understand is all the bacteria viruses fungus all these vibrate at a very very low frequency important information huh? when you are talking about atoms when you are talking about the proton electron and neutron and we are neutrons and we are talking about energy these organisms are working at a lower frequency now what is terahertz water terahertz water is a high frequency water that means it has got a high energy when it is a high energy do you think the bacteria can survive do you think the virus can survive no even yesterday there was one testimony this particular person was sharing that uh, there was uh, like some person affected with corona and then they were drinking the terahertz water and then they they could recover and recoup back much faster now how is that because the properties of the water is so good that 
the bacteria definitely cannot sustain in a high energy environment now other than that you look at the antiviral antifungal antioxidant anti radiation and the low viscosity this is the beauty of our uh, uh, resonated water is a minus 680 this is like you know you are using a synthetic uh, uh, oil you know for the latest engine so your body is the latest uh, mercedes benz or your porsche and uh, you are actually using a uh, your uh, low viscosity water for this beautiful body but there is something you need to understand that what you have been drinking all the while when you are trying to change over to this particular water start with a lower dose maybe 500 ml then increase it to 1 liter then 1 and 1/2 liter then 2 liters then later on according to your body weight you need to drink that amount of water do not overload your body with too much of water the reason is you will be overloading your heart you will be overloading your kidneys you will be overloading your lungs when you overload without your knowledge there are some damages which will be happening inside and for you to recognize it will take time and by the time you recognize and you go to the hospital you are already landing up in a problem so do not overdo things what is exactly necessary for you please do it no doubt there is a lot of good benefits out of this water but you can't be drinking everything on one day and then trying to uh, you know get the best of it the other very important uh, information is you need to sip the water and drink it slowly do not gulp the water one shot half liter and push it inside into your system don't do that when you drink it slowly and sip it slowly what happens is every bit of it gets absorbed and every cell of it gets involved in absorption and then you will get the best benefit out of drinking the sipped water but how many of us have the time to even sip the water and drink most of us will be gulping the water one shot half a liter in a day we will drink four times and think that we have already done you are actually pushing your system especially your gut system drinking so much of water and your body has to absorb it isn't it so it's always sip it up then the other thing what we are, most of us don't do but we need to do is take bath in terahertz resonated water why not i think probably in the next coming future our company will come out with a very small unit where you just fix it in your shower and then you will get a terahertz uh, resonated water for you to have your shower it will come probably in the near future that will be a great uh, this one when you are drinking especially people with kidney failure when you take bath with the uh, resonated water it has much more benefits because you are not supposed to drink too much of water so in that way in that restraint and the constraint of situation definitely taking uh, bath in uh, resonated water is much better but <clears throat> if you are not able to take a bath no issues at least spray the water on your body as frequently as possible especially for people who have been told you cannot drink more than half a liter of water when you have been told that you better follow what your doctor is telling because only with the guidance of the doctor you need to know how to increase the water unless you want to take the risk of drinking the water and then if something happens you should know how to handle it but always go slow on your uh, drinking water especially when you are starting with terahertz and you have a heart issue or a kidney issue go slow definitely your body will understand and speak to the water you tell the water hey look and to the body that hey look i'm going to drink this water now whatever you need to take the goodness of the water please take it and use it to the best of your ability speak to your body your body will understand your language you can speak in english chinese mandarin whatever language you want it will understand because many a times your body understands your language number 1 number 2 your body will listen to what you speak to it the best example i can give is when i want to go for fasting what i do is i tell my body look i'm going to go for fasting for first 3 days so what will happen is for that 3 days i will not get hungry at all i'll be just drinking water i will not feel hungry then i will extend it for another 3 days so 6 days but the moment i decide hey i'm going to stop uh, the fasting huh? the moment i decide within next 1 hour i will start feeling hungry that means the body is responding so the same way your body knows if you talk to it so give all the positive vibration positive affirmation positive uh, information to your body so that it will listen to it and then start working on it and do not claim diseases <clears throat> like for example i have cancer 
I have diabetes, I have blood pressure, I have heart issues, I have a heart attack. Do not go on telling this. Maybe if necessary with the doctor, you are going and meeting the doctor. Of course, when they ask you, see, what is your uh, medical history, you can tell them. But do not go on telling to the whole population that you have a disease because the more you utter the word, the more word stays back, the vibration. See, ultimately, it's once again the vibration of that word stays back with you. Now, when the vibration is staying back with you, do you want the disease to be with you or you want the disease to go away from you? If you want the disease to go away from you, what do you need to do? You need to thank the disease. So, if you are having cancer, what do you need to say? Thank you so much for coming into my body. You came in and I understood that how important is my body, how important is my nutrition, how important is my exercise, how important is my positive attitude. And you have taught me uh, how time is so important. All the while I was telling I didn't have time. But now you are telling me I need to take time. Because the doctors will tell you, once you put on the chemotherapy, radiotherapy, you cannot even go out, you cannot walk, you cannot do so many things. You are resting, isn't it? So that situation is because that particular situation you didn't give time so every day uh, before going to bed look back and there in the whole day what did you do and pick up all the happy things you did if anything not happy happened no problem bless it with lot of abundance in that and say thank you very much i did learn a lesson from this particular situation thank you very much and bless that particular situation or a particular person and then move on so this is how you need to create from a negativity create a positivity now this particular water has got absorption is much faster. So what happens when the absorption is much faster, definitely your uh, BMR, we call it as a basal metabolic rate also increases. The best uh, example I can give once again is before going for exercise, when you drink Terra's resonated water and then you go for an exercise, you will be probably able to do more exercise with this particular uh, drinking this water. But a word of caution, just drinking water alone, you are doing regular exercise is not going to be sufficient. You need to pump your body with appropriate proteins, appropriate nutrition. Very, very important. Especially if you are talking for the muscle, you need the valine, leucine and isoleucine. Very, very important. For men above 40 years, zinc plays a very, very important role because zinc plays a cellular health. Zinc plays another important role in your diabetes, in your cellular uh, sugar metabolism. But if you see most of the men above 40 years will have zinc deficiencies. So you need to go either with a natural uh, zinc supplements or you need to go with the capsules which is available. Consume it so that you should be able to uh, give more benefits because zinc has got multiple uh, benefits when you are consuming it. Now other than that of course the water has got a linear arrangement and you know it supports the telomeres, the energy field. There are a lot of good things when you are drinking this water. So when the goodness is there, our job is to be smart, pick it up and then move forward. <coughs> now this is another uh, uh, area where you see the water penetration inside your cells is much more uh, easier with the terahertz resonated water because of the linear nature. Now other than that, it is a very small molecule. The frequency of the water resonated water is around 7.6 is is a standard which the company has given us and then we are able to get the best benefit out of Now, what is the biggest benefit by drinking the Terra's resonated water? Easy absorption, better removal of taste. Now, I was talking to you about the microcirculation. Is just, just visualize yourself. The microcirculation is so beautiful. Everything going in and coming out. Now, what will happen is the, the same thing when the water goes in and comes out, the nutrient goes in and comes out your cell becomes much more healthier. So it is not only the hydration plays important role in your, uh, in your uh, metabolism of your body, your nutrition also plays a very, very important role. So this water, which is actually a, which is like a transporter, you know, it's much more easier. So what is the benefit you will get? You will definitely get much more healthier cells, better cellular function, better control of diseases. Now, this is where many people would have seen the benefit after drinking Terra's resonated water, the diabetes came down, blood pressure came down, migraine came down, uh, people with heart diseases, they are able to climb the stairs uh, and uh, uh, kidney issues, people are uh, much better now. Like, there are so many benefits you can get, but we cannot tell who will get what kind of benefit, we won't be able to tell. It is the individual person 
by drinking water until today nobody in the world has died by drinking water nobody so in that way uh, because many times people will be asking doctor can we drink this water can we drink this water can you drink this water i say everybody can drink this water provided now if you are a healthy individual you didn't have any issues drink water comfortably you can start up with around 1000 ml per day and move on but if you already have some existing diseases just be a little cautious be a little smart start with low dose let your body get adjusted your body needs to get adjusted it's simple like uh, you know you suddenly enter into a dark room you will not be able to see anything now why is that because you need to get adapted but give 5 minutes time to the in that dark room then you will be able to see everything how is that your body will be able to adapt to itself the, through the vision even in darkness so in the same way when you are drinking terra's water please give an opportunity for the body to adapt now many times the body might take few weeks to few months sometimes we, i do see people maybe 1000 people telling me doctor i have been drinking the water for so long but i didn't see any benefit but i would say there might have been some benefit the person is not able to recognize it the reason is definitely water is an essential part of our life and we all need to drink water uh, probably instead of drinking another normal water you are drinking a resonated water and you didn't have to see any change it's still okay but definitely there will be some good benefits inside uh, happening to you now what is the advantage we are talking about boiling of water now this is another beautiful information if you are having an alkaline water which you prepared from an ionized system okay ionized water can uh, split the water into alkaline water and acid water now alkaline you are getting a ph of around 9.5 now what happens you cannot boil that water the moment you boil the water it loses its alkalinity and it loses its 9.5 ph automatically it is but here what happens is the terrace resonated water the can be boiled for example if you have resonated a 7.5 ph water or a 8.8 ph water the ph will be the same i have tried uh, resonating 9 ph water also it doesn't change worse come was one or two points left or right it will go but the ph is still the same so that means it's always uh, when you are talking about resonating it's better to resonate a water with uh, 7.5 to 8 or maximum 8.5 ph is good enough for a normal drinking unless your body is fully acidic and then you are you are looking at uh, much benefit then even then what i would say is if you are going to terra herds uh, resonate uh, water of around 9 to 9.5 ph do not drink too much of water especially the 9.5 ph resonating and drinking do not drink too much you can drink maybe 500 ml to 1 uh, liter but the remaining water please see to that it is around 7.5 to 8.5 ph resonated because this 7.5 to 8.5 is good enough for you to drink and the benefits are the same antibacterial all those 12 properties what i was talking to you will be there with this water and definitely the hydration the cellular function everything starts happening and this uh, water has been put under high pressure x ray nothing changes it still maintains the same but the only good news is we all need to understand that this water if it can be kept in a glass container definitely is much much better but if you are using a metal container definitely what they feel is it might uh, you know uh, especially the energy part of it may be little hampered that's the reason they say do not keep it in a metal containers and especially for a very long time but i would say if you are going to resonate the water in a jug and then pour it in a copper or a steel glass and then you are going to drink it up is still okay is not at all a problem but you want to store it i prefer storing it in our uh, silicon jug itself but if at all if you need an opportunity to store it please put it in a glass container because glass especially can retain the energy of the water and you can give commands to the water well in advance give a command to the water maybe in the form of uh, please bringing lot of abundance good health peace and happiness to the water you bless it so send lot of love vibration so when you do this what happens is the water picks up all the uh, molecules of the thoughts what you have given and the water when you drink it definitely will be beneficial for 
every one of you in the family. What you need to avoid is you need to avoid, of course, metal containers exposing to sunlight. And as far as possible, if you can uh, freshly prepare it and drink it is always better. But there is always a uh, situation where, uh, you know, we have tested by keeping it up to eight to nine months and the water doesn't change. That means the properties are still the same. But why do you want to wait for uh, eight, nine months and then only drink is it unless you are looking at manufacturing and then, you know, uh, probably selling it, then only you need to look for the expiry after eight to nine months but at home as far as possible use a uh, fresh water prepare it every day or every other day and drink it now this is how it looks and uh, this is something very beautiful wherein you can uh, see the live uh, blood circle uh, blood uh, analysis where you can do clumping of your rbc's on the left side the moment you drink water it uh, all gets separated now why does it get separated is once uh, the hydration is there inside this particular terahertz water has got a capacity of high energy so each cell when it got the high energy they don't get attracted they will get uh, means going away they will move away so when they are moving away that means each cell will be so energetic that it goes inside your your uh, cellular function it will go inside do its job and then come back so coming back to the final situation for you today, heart care, microcirculation plays a very, very important role. Just like your heart, your microcirculation plays a very, very important role. And we all need to look into. So if there is an option for you to check your microcirculation, please do check your microcirculation. There are a lot of people out there in KL and other places. Ask for the microcirculation test and then get it done. Then you know how exactly your circulation is. And depending on that, you do can uh what do you say you do can uh, uh, enhance the microcirculation and thereby give the benefit to your body by drinking our terahertz water also will have an advantage now uh, saying that i would definitely li like to give a part two of this heart support in the next uh, week and uh, definitely i'm going to talk about uh, proper nutrition your regular exercise and whatever the nutrients you need for your heart to keep it very healthy and uh, what are the nutrients which affects whenever especially the tablets when you consume uh, which can deplete your uh, vitamins so these are the things i will be sharing and uh, the other part of your viscosity in the vessel wall uh, flexibility all this i'll be sharing in the nutritional part so until i come back once again uh, for uh, me to share my the second part of uh, heart Thank you very much for giving this opportunity to every one of you and it's it's lovely to see 300 people down here and then uh, it's an amazing journey we are all going. So please have a very safe uh, journey and take care of your health and uh, we are all here to share the goodness with you and until I see you back, thank you very much and good night.